Hello world, it's John Pinto, your roving realtor, Bon Vivant, video blogger, podcaster, and as you can see, Sky King recreator. I, I've got my best Sky King outfit on today, and I am here with the original Sky King, Eric Seren. How are you doing, Eric? Very well, John. Thank you. FAA certified remote pilot. I am liking the sound of that. I'm looking forward to this video. Yeah. And uh, Raphael, uh, are you the tail gunner in uh, Eric's uh, drones? Exactly. I'm the guy. I'm the guy behind it all. Oh, good. <laughs> Just make sure you don't do like in that Indiana Jones right. movie where shoot, you shoot the tail shoot off. The Can tail you off, instruct yeah. them on, on <laughs> yeah. that, Eric? Exactly. Yeah. Keep the gun elevated. Yeah. <laughs> so. Eric, you may be mm. asking yourself, as you always do with me, what the heck is John thinking? Why does he want to do a video on FAA certified remote pilot? Uh, where do I start? Uh, first of all, uh, I'm always very ambivalent when I get uh, when I advise clients to get uh, the roof inspected because I really don't want anybody on top of the roof. Especially right. if it's a tile roof or a concrete roof. Mm -hmm. uh, secondarily, uh, you know, I'm an amateur photographer. Uh, Raphael is a little bit more uh, uh, than an amateur photographer. He's a fantastic videographer and photographer. Yeah. Uh, people are sheltering in place. Uh, they're trying to come up with new uh, sorts of amusements and high tech amusements. So. I thought we would uh, partake of your knowledge. Uh, tell us uh, your journey uh, on uh, getting a Federal Aeronautics Association uh, certified remote pilot. Is that uh, the proper name of it? That's correct. And, uh, you know, it sounds impressive uh, because it really is. It's, uh, it's really a difficult thing to, to do. Um, basically, once you've uh, studied and passed that test, you're basically a small plane pilot. I mean, you have to have the exact same knowledge that a pilot would have flying out of a small airport, like down right down the street here in Livermore, for example. So uh, they're testing you on some very archaic map and chart reading because it goes back over 100 years. And that's the way we did it. We didn't have computers and, and laptops and things like that back then. Uh, so you still have to be able to read those charts interpret that information and make smart decisions based on what you're seeing there. So it, it's quite a challenge to get that uh, licensing. And when did you wake up uh, one morning and look at your wife and say, you know what, I want to become an FAA certified remote pilot uh, today. Uh, you know, when did that epiphany occur? <laughs> I, I, you know, I can't remember. <laughs> um, I, I don't think that actually happened, but I will tell you, uh, since we uh, at HomeGuard are using drones for our inspections, if you're going to use drones in a commercial way, uh, you must be a FAA licensed certified pilot in order to do that. And that would include uh, the uh, videographers and photographers that do uh, home tours for realtors, correct? Yes, absolutely. Because you're, you're using that for a business use. So you must be licensed. The only people that can fly a drone um, that don't need to be licensed are basically someone that's doing it for their own recreation. Okay, so um, like me. let's stay on point with this, um, with the point of this video, your FAA uh, certification as a remote uh, pilot, uh, because people may decide we want to do that. Mm -hmm. um, where do you study? How long do you have to study? Where do you take the test? Who conducts it and who certifies you? Okay. Um, we uh, have developed some online um, literature that we use to help study for the test. There's actually uh, books that we have that we use for uh, um, getting studied up to get certified for the FAA small pilot license. Um, and, you know, you, you have as long as they gave you lead time, basically, you normally you have about a month uh, to study in between the other things that you're doing. Um, and as far as where you take the test, you actually go to an airport uh, to take the testing. Um, and you're going to be tested by a, a pilot that's certified to give the examination. Um, 
this is a big thing to to get this certification. They're not just letting uh, some guy that you know weekends at the Seven Eleven give you um, traffic school. This is <laughs> nothing like that. This is a real um, important uh, aspect of getting that licensing is getting certified by someone that the FAA recognizes as someone that can administer that test properly and turn that information into FAA so you do get certified. And uh, how long does that test take? Uh, they give you two hours um, and you usually get through in about half of that time. But um, it, <laughs> I tell you what, it, it's a challenge. I did pass it the first time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a real challenge to get through that. And not everyone can do it on their first try. It sounds like it may be similar to getting a motorcycle uh, certificate on your driver's license? Or do you think it's more difficult than a uh, motorcycle? Uh, in a way it, it is, but it's really over and above that um, because they're testing you not just on reading those sectional charts. Uh, you have to understand uh, weather. You have to understand what kind of clouds mean, what type of weather might be coming, what the effect on your aircraft, what might be, even though you're flying a drone, um, most things are powered by gas and it needs air for combustion. So how does that affect performance of your aircraft, um, lift, drag? I mean, there's technical things that you need to know about. This is, this is really a, a, quite an accomplishment to pass and get certified this way. Okay, so uh, closing out this video uh, for aspiring uh, drone pilots, certified uh, drone pilots, uh, what's the takeaway? Uh, what advice would you like to leave with them? I would say take it seriously when you study for this test. Um, look online for the videos. There's a couple of good videos where they walk you through and give you actual test answers. And uh, be ready to challenge your brain on the day you go in for that testing. Excellent. Very good. Well, thank you so much. Uh, this is very interesting. I doubt that there's a lot of videos on this uh, yeah. subject. Uh, uh, Rafael, do you have any uh, questions of uh, Eric since uh, uh, this is part of your business and your services that you provide to realtors? Uh, no, absolutely. I, I the, the only input I will say is uh, um, remember that, you know, with all that Eric said, HomeGuard is capable of, of, of staying up to date with industry standard and being able to provide these type of services. So th this is why the home we trust the HomeGuard experience so much is because of uh, certifications like this and, and the capability of our inspectors, you know? Um, we will use our drones to inspect chimneys and roofs and, and, and uh, um, all kinds of inspe inspections needed um, with the proper technology up to uh, par with industry standards. So that, that's all I would, I would say. Well, that was uh, highly interesting. I certainly do appreciate it. And uh, thank you all for tuning in and we will see you on the next video.